Welcome to class, everyone. Today we're going to have a presentation by Isaac Butterfield and Woke TikTok. And the subject today is the sixth mass extinction of animals that's going on right now. So what we're looking for in this presentation is that they're going to be talking about animal agriculture and how it is terrible for the environment. We're also looking for them to talk about the uh, atrocities that are going on right now with the meat, dairy, and egg industries consistently lying to us, consistently trying to get us to buy their products. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Let's go back to the beginning. And remember, we're looking for content that talks about the animals. On TikTok. It's a fair oh, question. Why should you give a rat's about what's happening on TikTok? It's a fair question. I what is the question? Why should you give a rat's... I don't understand what he's saying. Why should you give a rat's about what's happening on TikTok? It's a fair question. <laughs> it, what? It's not a question. What on earth are you saying? Um, you get an X for that. You're not making any sense. If you're talking about rats, you should talk about how they are cute, how they in are intelligent, and how they should not be used in experimentation. Rats are sentient beings just like us. They have feelings and families. That's what we're looking for in this presentation. We're looking for signs of compassion and a reminder that we need to leave animals the fuck alone. All right? Is that clear? Let's keep going. I'll tell you why. It's because the majority of people watching TikTok are kids. These kids will become the adults of tomorrow. And the messages and the lessons that they are being taught on TikTok will be what they truly believe as they get older. Now, I've thoroughly researched- Wait, wait what is that on your shirt? Anti-vegan? Um, this is a vegan classroom. What on earth would possess you to wear that? X! This is the school uniform? or any of the other ones that talk about saving the animals, all right? You take that off. Don't wear that in my class again. TikTok over the last couple of months, and I found that 50% of the content is actually just chicks dancing around with no bra on and the titties flopping and flipping everywhere, which is probably why the vast majority of people who use TikTok are 13-year-old to 17-year-old boys just ripping the fucking ears off it. But it's not just ladies. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten the subject? We're talking about the animals. We're not talking about teenage body parts right now. X! And their unsupported bristles and their fat dump trucks. There's also hundreds of hot blokes on TikTok not wearing underpants or shirts and just wearing really loose shorts and flipping and flopping their cock around. It's very confronting to have a dick swinging at you when you're about to fall asleep. Uh, what is going on? We are, you've done 52 seconds of presentation here and I haven't heard you mention at all about the dairy industry and how terrible it is that they hurt these cows, forcefully impregnate the females and then steal their babies, kidnap their babies, just so people can have ice cream and milk and cheese? No, no, no. You're way off topic here, Isaac. You're getting another X for that. Get yourself back on topic. And did you take off the shirt? What are you wearing? What does this say? Let's have a look. But there's also some content on there that is fucking painful to watch. What's painful to watch is you not being in the school uniform. Now here's just one of the other uniforms that you can wear. Just choose one with a pro-vegan, pro-animal message. And don't forget, if you iron it, you will lose points. We're not wasting time on superficial things in this class. No ironing allowed. Okie dokie. Good. It is so woke, you want to blow your fucking head off. So I thought, why don't we take a seat and have a bit of a look, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's okay, I guess this is the part where he's going to talk about the animals. That's great. I have actually, I'm drinking coffee today, rare. I have coffee about once every two weeks and it's really watered down, but oh, it's so delicious. Mm. By the way, don't forget, cow's milk is for baby cows. It's not for you. In here is some soy milk. You can also buy oat milk if you like, but never drink cow's milk because it's wrong to steal. We don't steal milk from other beings. And in fact, you're not a baby cow, so you shouldn't be having any milk at all. Think about it. When you're a child and you're born, you're born vegan, right? You came out of your mom, you were vegan. You never wanted to hurt animals, and you drank your mother's milk, which is vegan because it belongs to you and her, and she gives it to you voluntarily. 
There's no, nobody's forcing anything here. But to steal the milk from a cow is not right. We don't believe in stealing here at that vegan teacher's school. Animals, like children, cannot give consent. Therefore, we never touch them inappropriately. So let's remember that. Let's dive deep into this absolute mess. Bad bodies are worthy if they're healthy or they're not. And if you say that that's not true, I'll kick you in the crotch. Wait, what? Uh, no. TikTok. We're not talking about you and your bodies. This is not the subject today. We are talking about the animals. Woke TikTok, you get an X. Here's our score so far. I tell you what, the wheels have really let themselves go. This is this is confronting stuff. You say you're just concerned, but I know that's insincere. And if you don't stop trolling, I will kick you in the rear. There's a lot of threats of violence in here, but I doubt that you have the dexterity to pull that off. In fact, yes, there is a lot of threats of violence, and I don't like that. They get an X. But you know what, Isaac? Butterfield, you do too. Because you pay for the violence in the meat, dairy, and egg industries. Every single time that you eat a burger, you pay somebody to stab an innocent animal in the throat for no reason, when you could simply choose the vegan version or buy anything else. So X to you, get back on the subject. Veganism, saving the planet, stopping the sixth mass extinction of animals that is going on right now, ending the animal holocaust. That's the subject. I think you have the dexterity or athletic ability of a 170 year old gigantic Galapagos tortoise. This is why fat sh Did you just insult a tortoise? X! Tortoises are not fat. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just large animals minding their own business. What do you call elephants fat too? Ridiculous. Gaming should be encouraged in schools. Okay, I'm half in cosplay, but this is important. I'm so fucking angry. Oh. Cosplay is not the subject on the table right now. It is something much more important. Protecting the innocent animals, like pigs in the industry. Pigs who are murdered at just six months old after a lifetime of hell in confined spaces. The Holocaust never ended for the animals. They are still murdered in gas chambers now. Gas chambers should be illegal. There is no reason for them to be even in existence on this planet at all. So X to you woke TikTok, get on the subject. Oh, please tell us why you're angry. We need to know. I made a video about being a lesbian with a boyfriend. What? My boyfriend is non-binary. The subject is not about you and being lesbian and all of this stuff, okay? Non-binary, that is not the subject. That is not what is important right now in the world. It's not about you, you, you. It's about them, them, them. The animals who are suffering right now. X to you. He prefers masculine terms and he uses he, they pronouns. All right, so I, I guess you can be a lesbian with a boyfriend because it doesn't necessarily mean you, that you, you, you no longer like women. You just having a bit of a break. You need to split the whisker every now and then. But do you, you consider them a woman because they're non-binary, but they're not a woman, they're non-binary. So your argument isn't that they're non-binary, it's that they're a woman, but what your the? argument also says that they are women, but but also non-binary, so that wouldn't mean that they're binary. That... Um, excuse me, Isaac. These are not subjects in the vocabulary that we want to have during this presentation. This presentation is not about that subject. It's about ending the animal holocaust that's going on right now. It's about reminding people that paying for the masturbation of male cows and stealing their sperm is sexual assault. I didn't hear you mention that. X. So that would mean they're binary. I'm confused. I thought the whole point of- Are you still wearing the anti-vegan shirt? Disgusting. Being vegan means being kind to animals, Isaac Butterfield. That is what your shirt should say. It should ha you, the school uniform is something like this. You can wear this shirt or you can have a shirt that says, be kind to animals. Don't hurt them. Plants have protein. These are examples of shirts that you can wear in class. Not something like this. What you're basically saying with that shirt is that you're okay with hurting animals. So you're okay with people kicking dogs, stabbing cats in the throat and eating them? Are you okay with that? 
No animals should be harmed. Take that shirt off. Another X for you, Isaac Butterfield. Being a lesbian was you giving up on balls and dicks, right? It's like you got a nut allergy. You just got to fucking get rid of all of them. All of them out of the house. All the dicks. Get, get, get. But you can't kick all the dicks out and then sneak into the pantry and have a spoonful of peanut butter. You've made your choice. It's all over. Nobody needs you to advocate for how difficult it is. You talked about peanut butter, but you didn't talk about how it's good to eat peanut butter in its whole form, without adding any sugar, without adding any salt, that whole foods are good. That's what you missed in this presentation. You get another X. It is to use gender neutral pronouns. Nobody said that the gender binary was Easy. These are what is going on TikTok? This is not the subject. X to you. Nobody said that being vegan was easy, but it's your responsibility to do it, to be brave enough and to speak out in defense of the victims. You are not the victim here. Unless you are vegan, you are paying for cruelty. These are not my preferred pronouns. These are my pronouns. You will use them. Or you will not refer to how about you use your time valuably to care about someone beyond yourself it's not about you 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 and they them and there it's about the animals it's about the ones who are suffering the most you are not the victim you are not suffering here these are just words care beyond yourself woke TikTok. to me at all Okay, I will use one if they ask nicely, but stop. Yes, of course. If somebody wants to be called by a certain pronoun, why wouldn't you? Just go ahead and do it. What's the big deal? Why do we need to talk about it ad, ad nauseum? The subject is the victims, the true victims, the animals on this planet. Like the ducks, for instance, or the geese who are forced to have a giant tube rammed down their throats, force fed so that their livers will be gigantic. This is what is called foie gras. This is what people do in the industry. They absolutely treat animals as objects. And you, Isaac Butterfield, are failing to mention this. This is the time in your presentation where you were supposed to talk about foie gras, and you failed. We're at the three minute and 15 second mark. You're not following the agenda at all. X. Stop being the personification of an asshole. No one wants to hear what you have to say or what you want people to call you if you're being mean. Being mean? Let's talk about who is being mean, Isaac Butterfield. Every time on your channel here on YouTube that you continue to promote the meat, dairy, and egg industries, I don't know how much meaner you can get than that. Basically, what you're saying is you're for the Holocaust that's going on right now. The billions of animals, and if you include the sea life, the trillions of animals who are dying needlessly. As the overfishing happens in the oceans, scientists have predicted by the year about 2048 that the oceans will be depleted of fish because we go in there and we massively kill them when we could simply eat other things. Leave the oceans alone. Leave the ecosystem of the ocean to the sharks, to the whales, to all of the fish who are just living in there in harmony with each other. Yes, it sucks that the God or the universe has created sharks that hurt other animals that eat them. But there's nothing that we can do right now to veganize a shark. It's just not gonna happen. But what we can do is make choices three times a day to put veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds in our shopping cart because peace begins on our plate so we can open up our heart. And that's what you forgot. X to you, Isaac Butterfield. By the way, you should be watching the documentary Seaspiracy about this subject where you will see exactly what goes on. Did you do your homework, Isaac? Did you watch Seaspiracy? How about Cowspiracy? Did you watch that? That's another important documentary so that you know what's going on. Did you watch Dominion Movement? I believe that you are from Australia. If you want to know what happens to the animals there, and it's the same all around the world, watch the documentary Dominion Movement. Another documentary that you should watch is called Earthlings. Did you bother to watch that one? I don't think so. If you want to know about vegan athletes, go and watch The Game Changers. You care about people being in shape? You can be vegan and in the Olympics. You can be a top-level athlete.
full of muscle without ever harming an animal, without ever consuming any milk, any cheese, any meat, or any eggs. It's possible, and therefore it's your moral responsibility to do so. Go and watch those documentaries and promote those in class next time. Real sexual people may decide to have a sexual relationship despite not feeling sexual attraction. Well, um, the subject is not cupio sexual right now. The subject is the animals. X. Others don't. Both are completely valid and communication is key. Yep, communication is key. In yes, communication is key. And that's why we should communicate what the animals are going through right now. Don't waste a moment of time talking about yourself and these issues that are so microscopically tiny in comparison to the suffering that is going on by these animals everywhere around the world. Are you okay with the fact that when they have mother pigs, they force them to be pregnant and then they put them in these stalls so tight that they can't even turn around? Have you watched the documentaries? Another one you should watch is called don'twatch.org. I know it has a crazy title. I didn't name it, but it's only six minutes long. Mother pigs are forced to be in a place about the size of a bathtub for a huge pig, so much so that she can't even turn around. And when her babies are born, she can't even see them properly. And these babies are born in dark, filthy conditions where they don't even have any grass or any semblance of nature. They will never see the sun. They will never feel the sun on their face or feel the wind. This is their life. The animals are living a holocaust right now. And that is your responsibility to talk about things that are more important than just pronouns. So woke TikTok, you get another X. In any relationship, I completely agree. Cupisec asexual and cupisexual. I don't understand why the youth needs so many labels. Why do you need to label everything? Whether or not you're asexual. You literally have a label on your shirt right now. It says anti-vegan, which means you are pro-violence. You get an X for that. Your label that you said you don't think that people should be labeling things, you don't think they need them. Why on earth would you even sell these kind of shirts? You are basically saying, because you're anti-vegan, that you are pro-gas chambers. How is that okay? You get another X for that. By saying that you are anti-vegan, Isaac Butterfield, you are saying that you are okay with raping mother cows, because that's what artificial insemination is, putting them in something called a rape rack. That's what it's called. And shoving your fist into them, forcing sperm into them, you are for sexual assault, you are for sexual abuse if you are not vegan and you are eating any products from the dairy industry or the meat industry. You get many X's for that. Sexual, cupy supple, um, you super supple or whatever you fucking are is not important. Why do you need to push this out to the world? The only person that you need to ever have that conversation with is the person that's entering you or you're entering them. And also on the topic of... Speaking of entering, exactly, you're right. We should have consent. So why is it that you don't agree that the consent should go on to other animals? They deserve just as much respect. If you don't agree with sexual assault, then don't buy anything from the dairy industry, which kidnaps these baby boys, cuts their necks off, and turns them into leather jackets and veal sandwiches. But you are speaking out against vegans. So that gives you another X. Stay on subject, be consistent, stop being a hypocrite. The labels, doesn't gay, straight and bi cover everything? You're either rooting the opposite sex, you're rooting the same sex, or you're doing both. Covers everything. And if you believe genuinely that you need a particular label for yourself, grow up. I'm trying. Grow up, that's right. So grow up and stop being a hypocrite. You literally put a label on yourself of all the labels that you could put on there. Think about everything that you could write on your shirt, such as I believe in world peace, such as love everyone, such as protect animals, plants have protein, be kind to vegans, don't be vegan phobic, help someone who is suffering from Vistopia, the anguish of being vegan in a non-vegan world. You could have that on your shirt, all right? Here's your new shirt that you should wear to class. Vistopia is the anguish of being vegan in a non-vegan world. Help those suffering from Vistopia. All right, by the way, that is a book that you can get from Claire Mann. It's spelled C-L-A-R-E, 
and her last name is M-A-N-N. She's a vegan psychologist. She wrote this book called Vistopia, the anguish of being vegan in a non-vegan world. And that is what many animal rights activists suffer from because we are faced with you idiots here who are not staying on the subject, which is to care beyond yourselves. I need to phrase this nicely and I can't yell, but I want to, so. Um, but Hopefully she's gonna talk about the animals now. Black people and people of color in the queer community. Are we talking about skin color again? She's talking about black people. Does she, okay, let's look at the skin color between these two. Now remember that they have different lighting, right? Does she consider herself to be black? Like, I don't know what black is. To me, black is this color of the screen here. This here is black. To me, I mean, she has dreadlocks. Anybody can have dreadlocks. I could have dreadlocks if I wanted to. I could just let my hair grow and spin it around and, and, and put it into these little uh, braids. Like, what does it mean to be black? What does it mean to be white? Skin color should have nothing to do with anything. We need to stop being racist. We need to stop being homophobic. We need to stop being vegan phobic. We need to stop being ageist and ableist and just let everyone live and stop trying to separate ourselves all the time. Everybody should be united to help save the animals on this planet. Aren't seen by white queers as, as queer as they are. It would appear you need to work on your queerness, right? If you're out there and you're a person of color, it appears you need to suck more dicks if you're a bloke. Oh Eat my more goodness. Puss if you're a okay, both of you are completely off subject. I'm getting an X, both of you. Lady, do both if you're into gender, all right? You need to work on your queerness. That is obviously what needs to happen here. On almost every occasion where I've been discussing my queerness or my experiences with queerness with white gays, they speak to me in a condescending way and they treat me as if I am a straight person imposing on a queer subject. Oh, very well known that white gay people are even worse than straight people. So I want an apology from all the white gay people in the comments. Apologise now. For what? I don't know. Queerness is seen as um, something that is white and a way to to compare oppression and it's used to compare oppression. So it's impossible for white gays to see us as, as gay as them. The LGBTQ community has been used as a front to hide racism or to excuse racism. All members of the LGBTQ community should be vegan because being vegan, let's remember, means simply being kind to animals. It means not paying people to hurt them. All black people should be vegan all white people should be vegan. All fat people should be vegan. All skinny people should be vegan. All people on TikTok should be vegan. All people on YouTube should be vegan. Isaac Butterfield should be vegan. And he should support vegan animal rights activists at all times. And he should get rid of his shirt. Where it says anti-vegan, he should take a nice vegan marker and scribble out the part that says anti and just leave the part that says vegan. All right, Isaac? That's your homework. Isaac Butterfield, you get another X for this presentation and woke TikTok, you get another X because I don't know, you're really off subject here. Stop separating people by their colors. This is ridiculous. The more we talk about how we are all so different, the less the focus is on the animals. We are all the same at heart. Every one of us is born vegan. Everyone should return to their roots. Nobody wanted their parents to shove dead animals down their throats. When we were born, we never wanted to hurt animals. We just wanted to play with them and love them. All of you, everyone on woke TikTok and everyone here on YouTube should be striving to help vegan animal rights activists. And by the way, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, now is the time to do so. Look down below. Do you see a subscribe button? Do you see it? Look for it. Now, after you tap it, click the notification bell so you can help me save animals from hell. This is the thing with wokeness and wokeness in society. You will never be woke enough. No matter what you do, you will never be woke enough. It is insidious in nature. It's always trying to compete against itself and, and eat its own. Feminists and, and woke people and, and the social justice warriors, they're always trying to eat their own. That is how they work. My hearts will never. 
Well, you know, I agree with Isaac in this case, but the problem is that he is no, also no part of the problem because he is not talking about saving the animals. He literally separates himself because he's too lazy and weak. Isaac Butterfield has no self-control. He just likes the taste of animals, so he eats them. Now, what would happen if he suddenly liked also the sight of animals suffering? You know, sight is right here, taste is right here, hearing is right here. Isaac Butterfield and all of you woke people, why is it that you think it's okay to murder animals just for taste, which is a sensory pleasure because you can eat other things, but you think it's not okay if somebody killed them just because they like to hear their screaming right here, to see their blood dripping from their bodies. You see, there's a moral inconsistency here. Now, what about this woman here? I doubt she's vegan. Look at the size of this person. Why on earth would somebody want to be that large? And most likely she's not vegan, and that means not only is she murdering, paying people to murder animals, but also probably three times more animals are murdered because her body is gigantic. Meanwhile, there are children in this world who are starving, who have no food to eat, who are truly suffering. I mean really suffering. They are abandoned. This is despicable. Look, we all go through phases in our life where we gain five pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, pregnancies. Sometimes you go through a, a period of depression where you, you know, you're, you're down in the dumps and you eat because you are you know, unconsciously eating to fulfill some sort of a, a wound inside of you, a lack of love. We all do that. You know? But what's important is that we don't victimize the animals. It's not their fault that you're going through some sort of a depression, some sort of existential crisis. Think of others, and the more that you think about others, the better you will feel too. How on earth is this, what on earth is this woke TikToker gonna say? Oh, that was so hilarious. People just wanna be treated with respect and not like objects. <laughs> okay, first one. Okay, you're talking about respect? Where is your self-respect? X. Are you talking about the animals now, woke TikTok? I don't see in this presentation that you are talking about the turkeys. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up. Remember that the subject, now we're at the six minute mark. If you remember on the assignment that at the six, six minute mark, you're supposed to be talking about the turkeys right now and what they're going through. Turkeys never want to die. They shouldn't be bred into existence in the first place by the millions just to end up dead on your plate. During the time of Thanksgiving is the time to be thankful for all of life on this earth for all the ecosystem and how it's all intertwined. Thanksgiving is a time of love to be with family, and to be truly grateful for the amazing abundance that we have. Look, you're wearing clothes, you have glasses on your face. I assume you have a home to live in. Be thankful, but without a dead animal on your plate. You're supposed to be talking about that right now. So you're getting an X. Stick to the subject right now. We're talking about the turkeys, remember? I can't sing anything. It's just a floating head. Crazy stuff. Yikes. <laughs> You're just... What is going on with that laugh? It looks like there's a KFC bone stuck on your larynx, love. KFC abuses animals by the billions. Chickens who never did a single thing wrong are murdered at just seven weeks of age to end up in a bucket. Devoured by a human who doesn't give a shit about their sentience, about the fact that they feel they don't care. And then they just shit them out in the toilet after. Don't eat chickens. Do not support KFC unless they are starting to get vegan options. If they are, then you can support them. The more vegan products in stores, the better. But right now, KFC pays for these animals to suffer greatly. They are born, they are bred into existence to be so much bigger than they should be naturally. They are, they are bred so much that they can't even stand up on their own legs. If you watch the video footage, you will see that they, can, they are falling over because they grow so fast so that people can eat them. Kept in these dark, dark places, never able to see the sky, never to be able to open their wings properly and go out there and bathe in the dirt, which is what they do. I know it sounds funny, but that's what they do, chickens. They go out there and they bathe in the dirt and it gets off all the bugs Chickens should be outside. They shouldn't be bred into existence in the first place by us humans. Chickens are some of the most abused animals on this planet, actually. And there are twice as many chickens as there are humans. So every time you mention the word chicken, 
You should be talking about chickens and how they should be free. Just mad because we live in your head rent free. <laughs> Knee slapper. Bring it here, bro. No. Listen, it is clear that this woman is suffering. Okay? Nobody is that much overweight who isn't suffering already. And my heart goes out to these people to a certain degree. I understand that they need psychological help. If you ever actually talk to these people who are this overweight, this is all just a big act. Like, I love myself the way I am. I'm happy to be this much overweight. Yeah, it's just great. I just love the fact that I can barely walk to the mailbox. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like I said, it is normal to be overweight at different parts of your life sometimes. But to this degree, this woman needs help. It is no different than somebody who is anorexic, except for the fact that she is actually paying for the rape torture and murder of many more animals. Stop hurting animals. Stay to the subject. You're getting another X for talking about yourself. Thin privilege part two, unexpected thin privileges. Ooh. I'm not subject to you. Part two, very exciting. Gen X and could receive fertility treatments if I wanted to, and my kids wouldn't be taken away from me for being the same body size as me. Your kids? Must be pretty fucking big to be taken off you. Like, like for a child to be taken off its parent for being too fat. Like okay, we are going way off subject here. Like, you guys are TikTok. You are not staying on subject at all. You are talking about things that have nothing to do with the animals here. And Isaac Butterfield, you're doing the same thing over. I think we've had enough here. I don't see any way that you can possibly pass this assignment. Remember that the homework is to watch those important documentaries that I mentioned earlier. Go and watch them. And next time when you present in this class, make sure that you pass. Because right now, TikTok has failed, and so has Isaac Butterfield. This is very disappointing, this assignment. You need to go back to the basics and learn to be kind to animals, to stop paying for their rape, their torture, and their murder. Both of you fail. Subscribe to this channel to help me save animals. Press the notification bell and help me get animals out of hell. Thank you.